anywhere those like pagodas or anything that's like a huge symbol of a, of a country is pretty insane. Um, so uh, we started in Yangon, uh, we skated here for five days and then we travelled north to Naypyidaw. It's a big place, Myanmar, so as we go from one city to another, maybe four or five hours, you're bound to come across a couple of spots. Um, so if we see them, we just know that we've got to take the chance to skate them because one will probably never be here again. Obviously the smaller towns, um, they're a bit less concrete, you know, so they're just, there's not as many spots for sure. Like, we're, they're few and far between, but you can find some good ones, definitely. So on our way up to Naypyidaw, we were going uh, past a big volcano. Something you'd see in a fairy tale book, you know what I mean? Just like on the castle. And... Found two huge monuments. So there was a big Buddha and then a big snake thing. So we stopped and we went and had a look. We were, it was like this, this other temple place that we were walking through and it had all these people building. Karen, thought you could like ollie from the Buddha down to the snake and have all these three things in the background. We didn't want to be rude or we didn't want to be disrespectful and skate off the Buddha so we got up there and sort of pushed a little bit. It took a while just to test the waters of whether people would be bombed on people skating on the Buddha statue. They're not going to be stoked at all but everything worked out. Naypyidaw is a really weird example. Um, I think it's known as one of the most sort of bizarre capital cities in the world. It was built in 2007, or it was completed in 2007, as far as I'm aware. And it's known by most people as this desolate city with nothing in it but like 16 lane highways um, and a huge sprawling parliament building. We're in the capital of uh, Myanmar, Naypyidaw and uh, we're looking for skate spots. When it was officially opened, all the government staff that were based in Yangon were told they had to move up to Naypyidaw like the following Monday, and it was a bit of a, a, bit of a mess. Now, obviously, over the years, they've made it more livable, but it's still a very bizarre place. We definitely thought it was probably gonna be a little different in our minds, especially for skating, because it wasn't easy to film stuff there.
said the city itself is a little more structured. It was just like a big thing. 